Hey guys, Mandis Buckle here with my partner Brent Swanson. Part two, sitting down with the big man, Akeem. All right, we left off talking about Baltimore where you took second to the one and only Victor Martinez. I don't think anyone could be upset with that. No. Victor came in much improved. We all know the history of Victor. What I was impressed with was the package you brought to Tampa. <laughs> now, uh, let's just call it what it is. People have been waiting to see you come in in Slides. top shape because pound for pound, when, when you're talking about Chicago a little bit, Big Dallas McCarver, that's funny hearing something that from you, Big Dallas McCarver, <laughs> everybody else is talking about Big Akeem Williams. Yeah. <laughs> so that being said, what did you then do? What adjustments did you make from Baltimore to coming to Tampa? Because Tampa was a lights out. It was lights out. You came out, and I think it was pretty much game over. Well, I, I came really close in Baltimore to getting in that winning circle, and mm. me and Dave spoke, and we're like, this year is a year we got to pull off a win, you know? It's my 30 as a pro, so we definitely got to get in the winning circle. So I figured, you know, Baltimore, he was right there, top two. How about we just push the envelope a little bit and just drop maybe two, three more pounds and see what happens? <laughs> suffer a little bit more, which I really did suffer for Tampa. Like, I don't know if you've seen some of the videos. During pre-judging, I think when they called us back out, me and Alexis were alone. Um, one of the times I was in the back door bicep, I leaned forward a little bit, I almost passed out. <laughs> 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 because, uh, like you were speaking about earlier, like my body is, is really hard for me to get in that tip-top condition, so we really, really suffered. And uh, like you said, uh, we didn't carb up until like a few hours before we went to our right. stage. Right. So it, even though I didn't look flat on there, I fell flat, like, I really fell flat. Yeah. You know, so, uh, I mean, the package was crazy. Can I be a little bit fuller? Maybe, yeah, but I'm, I'm happy with the package that we brought and it definitely let me in the winning circle, so I'm happy, definitely happy with that. So it sounds like you, you guys pretty much have the winning combination, and now coming into Olympia, you'll probably make just a few more adjustments so you can still have that conditioning and bring yourself in a little bit fuller. Well, I kind of pushed the envelope a little bit and I went to uh, China right after that. I don't know if you saw a whole picture from that, but... <laughs> you enjoyed yourself. I should, I should, yeah, I shouldn't have done that China show uh, on Alasia. I shouldn't yeah. have done that one. Yeah. I should have listened to like a, a few of the judges told me just pull out and just take time to focus on Olympia, but I figured I'm hot right now. Let me go to China and see if I could basically pull off a win or maybe a top two finish. Didn't work out like that. Yeah. I was a little bit down because I went from winning the show to going to China and placing ninth place, which is just like, what the hell was that about? You know? Well, there, there's a lot when you talk about China, you know, with the travel and the overseas. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of variables there. But Akeem, I, I think everybody's really excited to see the package you're going to bring in this, this weekend. Um, you are one of the mass monsters out there. Um, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so and, much. And we hope to catch up with you after the show. I'm predicting a top 10 finish for you. We'll see, man. Uh, I, I, I think you're going to crack the top 10. A great year for me, you know? Yes, it absolutely <laughs> will. Um, uh, we hope to see that happen. Uh -huh. From Midwest Swanson Report, Brent Swanson, Mandis Buckle, Keem Williams. It's a pleasure. Till next time, we're out.